What is your problem? Is it that you have so many you don't even bother to solve well, them? That you can't comprehend that we don't appreciate the attitude. If we focused on what's real, we could really start evolving. Did you know that your actions are what determine your latitude? Well, then I fly than the motherfucker, high than the motherfucker, feeling like I shouldn't be compared to these motherfuckers, but... I feel like all colored brothers are my brothers from another mother, but it sucks because we don't all think that way. Look, I was going to drink that drink because mm. I just got paid, so I had to ball out. I got like 10 tacos and some lemonade, and now I got my tray, and I'm happy as can be. And then he hit me and knocked my food by my feet before I could even find a seat. You see, the hallways were crowded, but this dude didn't even care. He ran into me and then knocked over this girl like we weren't even there. And then first I wanted to fight him because I just wanted my tacos, man. But I heard some dudes just got in a fight at the coffee shop, and that isn't cool, but... It's not cool either that this dude I've never met whom I thought would show respect because somewhere down the line our ancestors connect just did me like that. If I had his number, I would definitely call him and be like, hey, bro, what, what is your problem? problem? See, it spilled on my pants. Damn. Then I gave him a chance to relax, but homie wasn't trying to hit at, so the first punch was thrown. He, he barely missed my dome, then he threatened to get the chrome and blast him. Oh, he was like a gangster in a suit. And me being a black dude, I guess he felt threatened, but I didn't have a weapon. See, we, we fought over a bump in the coffee shop, and I said I was sorry. What is your problem? And that wasn't how I wanted to start my day, but hey, maybe it was Jesus' way of telling me to wait for the pretty fine brown I seen from around town to walk in. Her waist was slim, and I didn't want to wait for the end of this fairy tale, so I politely said, hello. Then she snaps at me with, niggas ain't this and all you do is that. And all I wanted was her name, but she said I was the same as some dude from around the corner who hit her like a ton of bricks, knocked her on her hips, and didn't apologize. And she proceeded to mush me because all black men are rude. What is your problem? Okay, I mourned over my tacos long enough, but now it's time for me to take action. So I ran around the corner to grab me some napkins when out the corner of my eye, I saw some chicks spazzing talking about niggas ain't this and all you do is that. And I was like, ah, she must be mad. But anyways, I went and grabbed like a hundred napkins because I got hot sauce and lemonade all over my shoes. And as I was leaving, I couldn't believe it. Some chick came up to me, all kinds of rules. She was like, excuse me, well, why you got so many napkins? You don't need that many napkins. You probably got a girlfriend for each napkin, huh? All y'all some players, all y'all dudes the same. I can't stand y'all. And I didn't understand, like, can she not see the full course meal that spilled all over my pants? But she just kept on going, and I had to get away. So I pulled her to the side, and kindly I say, one bad dude does not represent all men. Then I walked off shaking my head thinking, what is your problem? See, now I'm upset, and it's not even about my food. I'm more so mad that she came up to me that rude. I mean, I understand you had a bad dude, but relax. But anyways, I continue to clean my shoes and my shirt, and I'm going over my shirt. Then I overheard, baby. He doesn't hate you. He's actually really happy I date you. And the dude was like, oh, is that right? So why he called you 200 times last night? And I hope this nigga don't think I can fight. And then she cut him off. She was like, baby, please don't worry about it. Please just brush it off. And he was like, no, your ex is crazy. And if he tries me, it's a wrap. I promise. And I'm sitting there smelling like tacos and shit thinking, what is your problem? And then I overheard, yo, 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 What's yo. What's son? Yo, she ain't even really into this I don't know why she broke up Have you seen homie get it? He ain't had new shoes to watch this shirt and get it. And don't stay untucked. Dog, dog, and I know she ain't getting fucked like she used she to. She ain't, bro. Son, she wet. Son, this is what happened. This is what happened. Yo, she called me back last night. And you know what that means? No, she want the D, yeah, my nigga. Yeah, she want the boy. Yo, yo, yo matter of fact, we finna ride on her ass and ride, bro. So I'm standing there watching these guys, sponging these lies, ready to fight for insecurity in disguise, thinking, what is your problem? Look, I think the problem is black on black murder and black on black violence. Back to back failure should be black on black trying. Have you ever sat back and watched blacks on crack dying? Inject the race with self-hate and watch the bullets start flying. See, the issue is that we misuse our people, wishing black bags on black bodies, both mentally and physically. Diminishing our ability to unite so we divide endlessly. I've seen too many sisters hurt and too many brothers laughing. They running from the issues like the New York City Marathon. Carry on. Our sisters come with baggage like a carry-on, so they place enormous pressure for Mr. Perfect to carry on his shoulders, but Mr. Perfect doesn't exist, so unfortunately for her, our dudes just ain't shit. I mean, shit. How many times have you ganged up on a young buck with their tail tucked between their legs from shame as you maiming their spirit with hate that should have been loved and thought you were cool for it, talking about, I don't see what the problem is. And that right there is the problem, kids. We need to quit being so oblivious and serious, but you take it as a joke like Eddie Murphy on Delirious. But look, I'm not wearing red leather. 
And we're not just some fair weather black activists screaming back power. We just want us all to do better. This is like a love letter telling you that we miss the black community. It's something like unity. If, if Mr. X and Dr. King could get along after being called everything but a child of God, why do we find it so hard? Understand. Our people built this land so that not divided but united we could stand. Because look, a million feet are better than two. And we don't want you to think we think we're better than you. We're just trying to open your mind to how powerful we could be, so let us come through. And talk for a minute about the things we could achieve. You see, Moses parted the sea even when his people didn't believe. All we need is black on black, love and black on black peace. See, let's have each other's back until all black problems have ceased. Because with love, we can solve them. And we'll no longer have to ask, what, what is your problem, problem? nigga? <laughs>